Elon Musk has just declared war on Russia with the NASA partnership. The SpaceX CEO and former NASA astronaut Scott Kelly are lobbing verbal missiles at Russia's space chief Mr. Dmitry Rogozin on Twitter. It is a fight that is getting noisier and messy. Join me in this video today as we explore Elon's insane partnership with NASA against Russia. Let us get to the basics for us to understand why Elon Musk and NASA have teamed up against Russia. It all began on the 24th of February 2022 when Russia's President Vladimir Putin declared war on Ukraine. The US and her Western allies strongly condemned the full-scale invasion of Ukraine by Moscow. As a result, America and the European Union proceeded to put sanctions on Russia. Many reputable companies such as Coca-Cola, Nike, DHL, Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft have stopped doing business with and in Russia. In no time, the value of the Russian ruble has started to collapse. Things got tough for the Kremlin, who had to respond. The economic war mutated into a space war when the director of the Russian space agency, Mr. Rogozin, threatened that Roscosmos would pull out of the International Space Station. For a long time, the ISS has been jointly manned by Russia and the US. There are currently four NASA astronauts, two Russian cosmonauts, and one European Space Agency astronaut living and working aboard the International Space Station. Russia has a role of maintaining the stability of the ISS while the US focuses on the computational analysis in the ISS. The tricky part is that if Russia relinquishes its role, the ISS is at risk of collapsing. The Russian tweet made by the Roscosmos head can be translated as, If you block cooperation with us, who will save the ISS from an uncontrolled deorbit and fall into the United States or Europe? There is also the option of dropping a 500-ton structure to India and China. Do you want to threaten them with such a prospect? The ISS does not fly over Russia, so all the risks are yours. Are you ready for them? Elon Musk was quick to respond to Rogozin's tweet with the SpaceX logo. This was a direct message that SpaceX is ready to save the ISS from collapsing when Russia pulls out. The SpaceX Dragon can perfectly replace the Russian segment since it has the capability to maintain the modules that make the ISS stable. With Russia bolting, the ISS will be dominated by America. For a long time, NASA relied on Russia's Soyuz rocket to get its astronauts to and from the International Space Station. The situation is much different now in the midst of the Russia-Ukraine war. In 2020, SpaceX successfully launched two NASA astronauts to the ISS on the company's Crew Dragon, demonstrating that it could deliver people to and from space for the agency. Now, NASA has the option to fly its astronauts solely on Crew Dragon flights if it wants. And that could give NASA a little more freedom to cut ties with Russia on certain projects. SpaceX has been of great help to NASA as it helped the space agency reduce its over-reliance on Russia. The partnership between NASA and Musk's SpaceX is insane and unstoppable. In most instances in the past, Russia has been using the ISS as a threat against the US. In 2014, Russia walked scot-free when it annexed Crimea from Ukraine. Probably the US took a low key as they greatly depended on Moscow on matters of space and rocket technology. But as earlier mentioned, things have really changed in America. SpaceX has strongly stepped in to mitigate any shortcomings of NASA, thus reducing America's reliance on Roscosmos. So far, NASA has awarded SpaceX a number of space projects. In 2022, SpaceX won a $2.9 billion contract of ferrying astronauts from the Earth to the surface of the Moon. This is part of the Artemis III program which aims at developing a human landing system on the Moon. The astronauts will be ferried using SpaceX's Starship, which is a fully reusable spacecraft. It is more superior to the SpaceX Dragon, which is partially reusable. The Starship is able to carry a weight of up to 100 tons. The partnership between SpaceX and NASA will give Russia a run for their money in space development and exploration. Both SpaceX and NASA have a goal of sending crewed missions to Mars. It is highly likely that NASA will award SpaceX another contract of sending a crewed mission to Mars. The US will have a great advantage when they conquer Mars before Russia. The bitter exchanges between NASA's Scott Kelly and Russia's Dmitry Rogozin on Twitter paint the true picture of the relationship between NASA and Roscosmos. 
The feud between the two space heavyweights started when Scott Kelly, who was a former NASA astronaut and US veteran, condemned Russia for attacking Ukraine. The no-nonsense astronaut accused the Russian media of spreading fake news. Kelly announced on Twitter in Russian that he was returning a medal awarded to him in 2011 by former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev. The translated tweet reads, Mr. Medvedev, I am returning to you the Russian medal for merit in space exploration, which you presented to me. Please give it to a Russian mother whose son died in this unjust war. I will mail the medal to the Russian embassy in Washington. Good luck. Infuriated by Kelly's remarks, Roscosmos chief Dmitry Rogozin called NASA astronaut Scott Kelly a moron after getting upset about Kelly's criticism of Russia for invading Ukraine. Rogozin did not stop there as he replied with two other abusive tweets before blocking Kelly. His first tweet reads, Mr. Scott Kelly, you needlessly provoke me. We are not familiar with you, but you address me on you and call me Dimon, although I do not know such a treatment and I will not allow you to behave like that with me. You are being defiant and destructive. As if that was not enough, he added another tweet that reads, Perhaps the dementia and aggression that you have developed is a consequence of the overload and stress of four flights into space. I invite you to undergo an examination at the Brain Institute of our Federal Medical and Biological Agency. After the spat of words was over, Rogozin blocked Scott Kelly. The bad blood between the two space veterans cannot be taken lightly, as it speaks volumes concerning the relationship between NASA and Russia. Elon Musk, SpaceX, and NASA will confront Russia in a war, should they take advantage of the war in Ukraine to bomb the International Space Station. Musk has just sent his second batch of Starlink stations to Ukraine. The Starlink terminals will help Ukraine to have a steady connection to the internet. Ukraine's Vice Prime Minister and Minister of Digital Transformation confirmed receiving the second shipment of the Starlink terminals when he tweeted, saying, Received the second shipment of Starlink stations, at Elon Musk, keeps his word. Thank you for supporting Ukraine and peace in the entire world. At O. Markarova, thanks. In his normal version, the SpaceX founder made a quick reply on Twitter that reads, You're welcome. We have also sent power adapters for car cigarette lighters, solar battery packs, and generators for places where electricity is not available. Ever since the start of the war, Musk has been fully behind Ukraine. The SpaceX CEO, who is always active on Twitter, has not shied away from showing his support for Ukraine on Twitter. Previously, the tech billionaire had sent another batch of Starlink terminals to Ukraine. In the midst of the Russia-Ukraine war, Musk has managed to have an online meeting with Ukraine's president, Mr. Volodymyr Zelensky. What is more interesting is that the two men discuss space business. The president revealed this in a Ukrainian tweet that is translated as, Talked to at Elon Musk, I am grateful to him for supporting Ukraine with words and deeds. Next week, we will receive another batch of Starlink systems for destroyed cities. Discussed possible space projects, rocket emoji, but about this after the war. The possible space projects will obviously bring on board SpaceX and NASA. Washington will definitely support the partnership as it has very strong ties with Kyiv. When NASA and SpaceX finally set foot on Ukraine, Russia should be prepared for a serious war. This time it will not be fighting Ukraine's armed forces, but it will be meeting the world's superpower in the name of SpaceX and NASA. Elon Musk, SpaceX, and NASA are ready for a space war with Russia's Roscosmos amid the military conflict in Ukraine. There is no doubt that the Pentagon is more than ready to meet Putin's army should the war shift from space to land, sea, and air. America has, is, and will always be ready. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications enabled so that you don't miss out on the latest Elon Musk news. Anyways guys, if you want to see more interesting videos, click the video right above.